myself as a dad, boy. I'd like to think I'm a good dad. I'm a work in progress, I guess you could say. I work all day, and so when I come home, I've got like a, a couple, two, three hour slot, and then it's bedtime. So uh, I really have to try to maximize that time. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of new at this. My kids are three and five, so I'm learning, I'm learning a whole bunch. Before I had kids when I was a teenager, kids used to annoy me. I thought they were a bother. And when I had my own, I had a completely different take on it. We have nine children. Yeah, so our old, my oldest kid is 27, um, soon to be 28, and down, all the way down to three. I think one of the challenges with that as, as a husband is I have to share my wife with, you know, nine other people. How do I love the best that I can? It's kind of tough as a dad watching your kid go through things and... Knowing what to do, knowing what to say, knowing how to answer, knowing how to really listen, not just try to fix things. I do wonder, am I doing a good job as a dad? I mean, that's normal to, to not feel like you're, you're doing it good enough. Sometimes we spend time with dad and do things with dad. Because he's strong. Sometimes Todd want to go in different places and, and tell everyone about Jesus. We always oh, pray with dad. We pray our follow. God, the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. With my dad, I say, I love you. Because he makes me giggle. He stomps around and says three, four, three, five, four rhymes and, and he's stomping his feet on the ground. We went roller skating. Um, my dad taught me. He takes me out to be spoiled. <laughs> um, he's funny. And he likes to help people. And he's like smart and kind to us. When we go to daddy daughter dance with him. I have my daddy daughter dance shoes. You're a great dad. 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 You're dad. Wonderful. And you're wonderful. I think faithful. One of my most distinct memories of my dad growing up is just seeing him like in our back patio, spending time with the Lord every morning when I woke up. And so that's made me appreciate the way that my dad has really put family first. He's always willing to talk, even if it's late at night. And um, thank you for being someone that I can always depend on. makes me feel like uh, it's all worth it. it it's, it's rewarding to, to hear one of my sons talking like that and to seeing the fruit of the Holy Spirit in his life. What I'm doing is impacting their life, even the silly things, and relying on God through all of that. That's the big key, you know, it's like, it's not like we can do this on our own power. So we have, that's, that's what I want. Wow, I, I didn't think I was doing that well. <laughs> I'm blessed and just honored to be able to raise them. For my young children to talk about Jesus, it just speaks a testament to what's inside of them and am I doing a good job as a dad? That would really uh, answer that question. You're, you're doing a great job, Dad. If you're there for them, if, if you're spending time with them. He will provide for you. He will give you all that you need. You don't have to be a perfect dad. Just continue to do all that you can do and let God do the rest. And you're doing a great job, so it's awesome. It's awesome to be a dad. Happy Father's Day.